we just did a live appraisal about this right. piece, but one thing I've talked about for years doing my appraisals for Antiques Roadshow was how much better certain pieces would look if they're clean, that I felt this was a perfect candidate. Because it it's a glorious piece. And you said this got dirty how? My mother was a chain smoker for all my life and before. And she smoked where? In the kitchen, and this is in the dining room next to the kitchen. So we have decades of cooking grease and nic nicotine right. and particulate matter floating, wafting from the kitchen to the dining room, settling on this vase. The bottom of the piece is fairly clean. The dust and the dirt and the grime tends to settle on the right. shoulder of the piece up here. And furthermore, because of the modeling or carving that Henrietta Bailey did to get this effect on the vase, she creates all these little nooks and crannies right. for the dirt to settle. You said that the color you liked the most was at the top? Cobalt blue, yeah, it's my What's, favorite. We'll use that as a, a bellwether to see how successful we are. I'm never 100% right about these things, but I have a feeling it's just gonna clean up pretty well. Okay. I'm gonna use a, a general purpose cleaner. and. Mm -hmm. and a, See right here what's happening? Yes. <laughs> look at the paper. Yeah, and look at the paper. Brown. This is, that's nicotine. Yeah. By and large nicotine on this. So oh, the blue's really a... showing up. I thought it looked pretty clean for just sitting there for years. <laughs> so now that shine that we saw, look at the cobalt blue on top of this yes. here. How much it's really come to life, how much brighter the yellow is in the flowers. Even the grooves inside of the poppy pods are clear. So it'll clean up even more. This is a quick job. If this thing soaked, it would look even better. But we have a pretty good indication of uh, how dirty this piece was. Even the yellow rim has a glow to it. Yeah. That was probably 50 years of accumulated grime. Right. And that's all that came off of it. So it wasn't that dirty, but it doesn't take much. So what I recommend is you don't bother cleaning it a whole lot if you hang on to this. But every five years or so, I'd ideally put it in a sink, put towels at the bottom of the sink so if it slips out of your hands, right. it won't break, and clean it in the sink, buff it dry, and then just really enjoy it. Okay, thank you. That smoking piece of Nukem right there, you really do. <laughs> That's a sweet pot.